Steve-O was driving his Tesla Model Y southbound on I-5 in Seattle, Washington. Watch what the driver of the Subaru Legacy Wagon in front of him did. The driver of the Subaru drifted into the center lane before realizing their mistake, overcorrecting and losing control, swerving back and forth before flipping over. This reminds me of the Moose Test, a standard safety test that determines how well a vehicle can evade a suddenly appearing obstacle. And flipping over during the test is considered the worst possible grade. Thankfully, all the other cars were able to stop in time and no further collisions occurred. Steve-O told us it was scary to witness this happen from right behind the Subaru. We searched the news about the collision, but nothing was reported, which hopefully means everyone involved was okay. Elon was taking a trip to Ikea to return some stuffed animals when the truck in front of him kept swerving back and forth in the lane. Elon didn't think anything of it at the time as he was cruising along at around 70 to 80 miles per hour. Suddenly, the truck began hitting the rumble strips, causing a circular metal piece to fly off, along with a wheel. The tire went bouncing before eventually climbing up and over the median, then smashing into an oncoming car's windshield. Thankfully, nobody was in the seat where it struck. Elon told us, based on his rough calculations, the tire appeared to travel almost 250 feet before hitting the car. Elon contacted the police to offer his Tesla cam footage and to see if everyone was okay, but he was told he couldn't submit footage or request information since he wasn't involved in the incident. Elon immediately put on his hazard lights and slowed down while the truck slowly drifted toward the right shoulder. Doug was using the FSD beta. When his car took a turn, he found himself in the middle of a police chase. Doug told us the Tesla started beeping and quickly moved toward the right side of the road. This was totally unexpected behavior and things were pretty chaotic. As he tried to figure out what was happening, all he saw were headlights and flashing lights heading straight at him. At this point, his Tesla had stopped, but he accelerated a bit after the suspect had passed him so the police had more room to get around him. If we look at the left repeater camera, we can see the suspect's SUV knock the mirror off of a pickup truck. Doug didn't contact the police as they were clearly already aware of the situation. He later found a report about the incident online and the guy driving the SUV had been caught. Police one, bad guys zero. Tanner was driving his Model 3 in Burbank, California when he suddenly encountered a green Kia Soul in the middle of an intersection. Tanner thought the Kia driver was turning around, but then he realized she was blocking the road. Then she made a U-turn before swerving around the two lanes like a dumb driver, as Tanner puts it. She then cut off a Toyota 4Runner and floored the gas all the way to the next intersection. She then did more donuts, and then it looks like she took off, only to come back for more. While spinning in circles, she nearly hit a Toyota Prius C. She then blocked the road, refusing to let anyone pass. Tanner waited for an opening, then floored the accelerator to get past her. In his rearview mirror, he watched her continue to block the road and wave her hand while people honked at her. ABC7 reported that she was arrested by the California Highway Patrol after leading them on a pursuit. Actually, Tanner had only seen the beginning of the incident as the Kia driver was doing donuts in front of the Writers Guild of America strikers protesting outside of Warner Brothers Studios. ABC7 reported that police tried to pull the woman over, but she fled before making her way onto I-110, eventually leading police south to Los Angeles. Officers then successfully deployed a spike strip. With her tires deflating, she was eventually pulled over near Century Boulevard. Officers approached the vehicle, shutting down the highway and stranding commuters while the CHP officers began a standoff with the woman. Eventually, they were able to pull her out of the vehicle. What a crazy story! Colin parked his Model 3 and went into work. When he got back, he found his car covered in some kind of sauce. He immediately checked sentry mode and discovered what had unfolded. Colin told us this was apparently private resident parking, but there were no clear markings, and he thinks a note would have been sufficient to ask him not to park there. Spraying down the car seems a bit too far. 
Colin has contacted the police and they're looking into it, but so far no action has been taken. Patrick was exiting the highway on his way home when some dude in a go-kart looking thing suddenly ran the red light in the bike lane and drove through the intersection. It's a me, Mario! Josh had parked his brand new Model Y at home in Gold Coast, Australia when a large tree fell over the garage. The tree fell very close to his Tesla, but thankfully, the Jazz gave its life to protect the Tesla. Josh filed an insurance claim, and the total cost to repair the Jazz, the roof, and the fence was over 15,000 US dollars. Randy was driving his Model 3 on a highway in Tampa, Florida, when a white pickup flew past him in the passing lane. The speeding pickup driver then dove for an exit, attempting to squeeze between a semi-truck and another truck pulling a trailer. That attempt failed, and the pickup hit the trailer of the semi-truck, sending it rolling in a cloud of dust. Randy had already passed the exit when he realized the extent of the crash, but he immediately called 911. He offered the operator his Tesla cam footage, but they never called him back for it. As Charles was driving just outside of Frederick, Maryland, he enjoyed some lovely plumes of black smoke from a pickup truck that seemed to slow down so Charles would catch up to it. The pickup definitely looks modified to have some kind of wider stance. Sorry buddy, we're not impressed by your dino fumes. Kresha and her husband belonged to a car club and they were headed out on a snowy day to take some cool winter photos of their cars. As they took an exit from the highway and were planning to make a right turn, her husband slid on a patch of ice before hitting a curb. By the time Kresha saw this happen, she was already on top of the same patch of ice. She braked and tried to turn, but it was too late. His car, the BMW, sustained a broken control arm, a missing rocker panel, and a damaged wheel. Repairs cost 7,000 US dollars. Her car, the Tesla, sustained damage to both driver's side wheels. Broken. The gear assembly and front bumper were replaced, along with the lateral arm, control arm, and wheel well housing. The total repair cost was over 14,000 US dollars. Ouch! That's over 21,000 US dollars altogether. That's one expensive photo shoot. Kresha sent along a shout out to her car club at Night Kids Racing Team on Instagram. SJ Kidd was driving home from class on Highway 84. The driver of the box truck in front of him changed his mind about where he was going at the last second and sideswiped SJ Kidd's Model 3. SJ Kidd told us the driver was unlicensed and had no proof of insurance. SJ Kidd didn't contact the police because he didn't want to make the situation any more complicated than it needed to be. Instead, he spoke with the company manager and she emailed him a copy of her insurance coverage so he thought everything would be fine. Now SJ Kidd says the company is denying responsibility and he had to make a claim with his own insurance provider. The total cost of repairs is over 21,000 US dollars. Raul was driving his Model 3 in Dallas, Georgia. As he approached an intersection, he moved into the turn lane when a Nissan driver suddenly turned across the turn lane and sideswiped Raul's Tesla. They both contacted the police and filed insurance claims. Raul told us the other driver's insurance provider is taking forever to settle the claim. We don't dare mention the name of the insurance provider since the last time we did that, we received a cease and desist letter. My my, there sure is a lot of farming going on in this state, am I right? Patrick was driving during a huge storm and the highways of California were pretty flooded. He watched two cars drive by and completely splash water over nearby cars. Patrick told us it was definitely cool to watch and he thinks autopilot is a great feature to have in these situations. Sakshi had parked his Model 3 on a street in Chicago when some guy wearing an AMG cap came near his Tesla and tried to activate sentry mode so it would record him. Okay, Sakshi confessed this act was staged. This guy is actually his friend and they purposely did this just to get featured on Wham Bam Tesla Cam. 
Sakshi said his friend actually hates Teslas but loves our channel. Don't worry, we'll change his mind eventually. About Teslas, not about our channel. This is actually our first video that's confirmed as staged. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Opa was driving home on I-110 in Los Angeles, California when, out of nowhere, some guy went running across the interstate. Opa was going the speed limit of 65 miles per hour and he thinks if he'd been going any faster than that, he would have hit the guy. Want to win a Wham Bam hoodie? We're giving one away every week for 10 weeks. To enter, send a video in to our newest channel, Wham Bam Security Cam. If your video is used in an episode, you'll be entered in the giveaway.